Welcome to SiteBento. This tutorial is an extension to a video that we've already made about the Simple Image Gallery. The initial video dealt with the free edition, this one deals with the professional. We're only going to tackle the technical aspects, so it is strongly recommended that you view the entire Simple Image Gallery video first, and then view this video. The Simple Image Gallery Pro is a commercial component available from Joomla Works for around $30. It extends the capabilities of the free edition by adding additional thumbnail management, additional pop-up engines, captioning, and uh, debug information. We're currently looking at the plugin management screen, which is something they should rarely visit, but we'll go over all of the parameters because some of them will be available to you. Starting with the root folder, that's something that should never be changed. It is the original directory for all of the galleries. Changing a value here will actually affect display, displaying all of the galleries that are in the site, plus all of the instructions we've given you. The pop-up engines are available in different flavors. They all do some, the same thing in a slightly different way. They all utilize jQuery, which is basically a developer toolkit for displaying content. We're going to show you some examples here. First things first is Slimbox. Slimbox is just a standard um, jQuery-based component that we see frequently in a lot of other extensions for Joomla. Next one is Lightbox. And the difference here is you're going to get a black window or a black border. You see that the background is also faded out a little bit as the window comes up. Colorbox. Colorbox is sort of a cool feature except that the simple image gallery only uses one functionality within it. So it's just simply a different way of displaying those pictures. Um, they're usually without borders with a very simple navigation structure across the top. Fancy Box is actually pretty cool. It's a component that comes up without hiding the rest of the window. And it has the forward and back buttons to the left and right of the image. Notice that they do vanish when you're not pointing to the image. Multibox is a very standard component. It has forward and back arrows that are visible, a black border and hides the, the entire background of the page. Lightbox, sort of the same thing. High slide, we actually have a bunch of images already open. It actually allows you to open images and move them around, which is a big difference from all of the other pop-up systems. However, apparently in some cases they're missing close buttons like they do here, which is sort of odd. Gray box is just another, um, another component. The difference here is that the navigation bar is across the top. Incredibly useful if you have people that are going to be looking at your galleries and really have trouble with small left and right buttons. Here they're always in the same place, so you never have to move your cursor, and you can easily maneuver through the gal gallery by just clicking left and right. There are also available templates that change the layout slightly. For example, if we hit apply on the artistic and refresh our demo, you will see that the background's a little different um, where the gallery is, and you're also given sort of a border with a title. The default you've already seen, that's also available in the free version. This one basically gives these tiles with the title down below. That's called the elegant. And finally, the sleek. Sleek is sort of the modern take on displaying images. It plays on the Ajax fu functionalities that allow you to pop up captions over images that are not available here, but it's sort of common in, in high techy websites. We're going to go ahead and reduce this back to the default. The thumbnail viewport is actually the area the thumbnail occupies. Now, the most important thing you need to know about thumbnails is that they are nowhere stored. They're not actually created ahead of time. They're generated automatically as the moment you load the web page. Now, the reason that's important is because if there's a lot of thumbnails or a lot of pictures, it's going to take a while to load the page. So you're going to have to weigh in the size of the thumbnail, its quality, and how many pictures you really want in a gallery. If you truly have a lot of them, 
The best thing to do is change the display mode to single thumbnail. It will only have one thumbnail, thumbnail, and when a user clicks on it, they'll actually have the ability to browse through the whole gallery. The next really cool feature, rather high tech for most people, is the captions. We can do no captions at all. We can do the generic messages, which is what you're used to in the free edition. Or we can read contents from caption files. The reason this was done is because there's really no easy way to attribute a description to an image. It's possible to encode descriptions into JPEGs when they're uh, in the specific format, but that gets really messy and gives the user very little, uh, very little control. So ultimately, Joomla Works decided to use a text file. The text file will be generated the moment someone views a gallery when the setting is on. Now, this is happening in the back end. We can go in and see the text file right now by going to our media manager. The issue here is that you cannot edit it from here, and you cannot delete and upload it. And the reason you cannot delete and upload it is because our security system will prevent you from inserting a text file into a folder. It is considered a pos possible attack, and it will. we cannot allow that functionality. Um, it would be too big of a security risk to, to put up on your website. So there is no easy way to get to this file. You're going to have to use an FTP client. We use FileZilla. FileZilla is an open source project. And the easiest way to do that is simply log in and access the directory. And then you can right click on the file, view and edit. Now I know I didn't go over the actual logging in and accessing via FTP. We're going to reserve that for another tutorial. Um, it is something we can certainly help you with and with our user capabilities we can go ahead and limit you down to just that one directory so that as long as you understand a few steps we'll take you right to the right folder and you just can do what we just did here. The actual text file itself is incredibly simple. Uh, it consists of the file name and it's a little misleading here because the file names here are long but they're truly um, not, not, they don't need to be this way. All you really need is a file name followed by a pipe and then the title of the picture followed by another pipe and a description. The description supports basic HTML. To learn more about FileZilla if you want it, it's available for both Mac and PC and it's available th for, through the FileZilla project. You can go to FileZilla-project.org or just simply Google FileZilla. We hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you have any questions please contact or support. Thank you very much.